Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing on about 154 square feet of bed space in my backyard. Today, I realized that when I put my mint plants back out, um, pretty much all of my perennials that were in pots, I never amended the soil. <laughs> so today I am going to sift some compost, um, some of my homemade compost, and I am going to top dress all of the uh, herb plants that are in pots. So let's get to it. So I made a homemade sifter. This is two by four and cannot remember the name of the wire. Anywho, I'll post it in the comments below. Basically, all I'm gonna do is take this over by the compost pile, put the compost in here, and then I'm gonna push it around with my hand. Probably gonna find some gloves. <laughs> um, and then I will show you what the finished product looks like. Um, and then I will put back any unfinished product into the compost pile to continue to compost. I just have the compost sifter. I'm going to use the fork. And so now I'm just going to take my hands and push it and the smaller pieces will fall into the wheelbarrow. I'm also going to turn my compost pile today at some point. Hasn't gotten hot yet so that's a plus. Here's the compost we are left with. I sifted it and now we have compost and I'm going to top dress all of those plants now. I'm not going to do a lot but enough to give them a little bit of nutrients. I am going to start with the chamomile plant. Um, I have been harvesting off of this plant for weeks now. I just come out and pull whatever I have. The more you pull, the more that will grow. Um, I also put three, I believe, yeah, three new plants in here this year. This one, which actually it is two, I thought it was just one but um, there's two that will that have been in here since last year. And I thought this plant had died, so I just moved it out of the garden, put it inside the greenhouse, and it started growing back. Uh, a few days ago, someone, a friend of mine cut his grass and he said, um, if I wanted it, I could come and get it. Made sure it wasn't sprayed. I mulched a lot of the potted plants with grass and I saved myself some money on purchasing straw that I can't find anyway. <laughs> so I'm just gonna top dress, not gonna dig down or anything. Just gonna put some of the compost in here over top of the grass. It was a very thin layer of grass that I put in here. So that'll just go in as more organic matter. And I will water this in and the nutrients will soak down into the soil that's already there and the plants will be fed. Compost can be used as a mulch too. So that, I mean, mulching is basically keeping the soil moist up under. So if you use compost as a mulch, uh, the compost at the top will dry out, but the soil under the bottom will not. Um, and so that's a good thing to use as a mulch as well. Someone mentioned that they wanted to see the inside of the compost bin. And so this is the compost bin. This is one bin um, where I may throw things in that um, aren't ready to go into the pile that's already finished composting. Um, but when I turn it, those things will be at the bottom. So the middle is just chicken wire. The outside is fencing. And I just put the plastic around it. It is a six mil plastic um, to, to hold the compost in really. Um, if there's something else that you want to know about the compost pile, just let me know. I left some on this side because it's the time of year where you may need compost. So the more finished compost, I left some of it down at the bottom and then I turned the rest of the compost into the other side of the bin. Like I said, if there is anything that you um, are interested in knowing, just leave it in the comments and I will make a video uh, specifically about composting. I am going to attempt to, ta uh, to tame 
this asparagus. <laughs> so let's talk about asparagus for a minute. Asparagus is one of those vegetables that you have to have patience in order to eat it. You really shouldn't eat asparagus before the third year. This is my second year having this asparagus and I did start it from seed, which I was very proud of. <laughs> um, I, I don't know why I like starting things from seed, but I do. As it's growing, so this at one point looked like asparagus and then it grows out into these ferns, but you're supposed to let the ferns continue to grow and stay in your garden because the ferns take energy from the sun and they send it down to uh, the crown of the asparagus. Last year, last year I cut my asparagus down quite early and I was very nervous. Uh, if you've been here for a while, you know I'm not, I like meat. Wouldn't be able to tell it from this yarn that I'm trying to get off of here. But I do like meat and so it just was everywhere, like it is right now, and I cut it. I am not gonna do that this year. I am going to attempt to tame it. So there is a fence, fence back here. Um, I'm gonna try to take this string, this yarn, and tie it from one end of the fence to the other which should at least hold it up and back uh, because I don't want to cut it early this year. The potatoes are in the way, so I'm probably going to end up having to move those small space gardening situations, um, but not too much to make me not want to garden. By the way, I just watched a bird come over here and peck this one. She couldn't get it off and so she just left. Also, when you see the little balls on your asparagus, I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me see if I can pull you in a little bit closer. The little balls right there. Eventually, those will turn red. That's a female plant from my research. <laughs> it's a female plant and that's where the seeds would come from. if you are wanting to save your seeds. Uh, have no reason to save asparagus seeds. I have no more space to dedicate to asparagus because once you plant asparagus, this is where it's gonna be. It can come back for years. Um, so you could always dig up the crown if you wanted to move it, but I, I don't plan on doing that and I don't have space to dedicate to it. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is tie this string pretty tightly around the fencing first. And then I have this little piece from where I held the fencing in. I'm gonna wrap it around that and start to tie it a couple of times. It's yarn, so of course yarn it gets wet it could quite possibly start to break but i'm going to do this twice um to hold this asparagus back and still allow it to grow but be a tad bit neat this asparagus is taller than me now so i had to do something also, the potatoes are in front of it, so I didn't want it to start shading them out when it laid over. So that's that. And I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time with another piece of string, another piece of yarn. And hopefully this holds for the season. And I had done a small one. You can see it down there. <laughs> There's no match for the asparagus. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. I am not feeling well and I forgot to record the ending. Don't forget to visit me on Instagram at Miss Asia Spratly where I post about the garden every day. Have a wonderful week. Bye.